Hello students, my name is Vinny, then you are welcome to Aglesam School. Today in this video, I will be explaining the exercise number 4.6 of chapter 4 which is basic geometrical idea. So let's start the question answer of this exercise. So the first question is, from the figure identify, let me draw the figure. Okay, this is the figure and center point, this is the center point. A O C A. This is center O and C. This is B. This is P and this point is Q. This is E and D. These portion are shaded one. This is also shaded. So the first part is the center of the circle. A. The center of the circle is center O. This is the center of the circle. B is three radii. So the three radii are A O O C and O B. A diameter. The diameter is AC. A D part is a chord. So chord is ED. This is the chord. E part is two point in the interior. So the two point in the interior are the center point O and point P. O and P. F part a point in the exterior. So the point in the exterior are point Q. Point Q. G. A sector. So a sector is A O B. A O B. H point is a segment. So the segment is E D. Next question is every diameter of a circle is a chord. So chord is like on a circle two points if you like draw a line if the two points are meeting that is called chord so this uh, point a and point c is met by the line segment ac so this is a chord and this is also a diameter so every diameter is a chord now this b part is is every chord of a circle is a diameter this is also a chord point e and point d line segment ed but it is not diameter so this statement is false. Third question. Draw any circle and mark. So let's do it over here. Third question. We have to draw a circle. Now we have to mark. First part. It's center. So this is center. Let's say it is point O. B. A radius. C okay a diameter okay let us let's name it M okay so M C is the diameter a sector so sector is K and this is the sector okay K O C is the sector a segment LQ is the sector I'm naming it randomly okay you can write whatever you want to this you can give K a name like A B C D it's up to you F a point in the interior so the point in the this is the segment was I will tell you uh, point in the interior this is a point let's say it's A okay the point in the exterior, the point in the exterior, B, an arc. So an arc is, this is the, this is arc. Arc is 
L Q. Okay. Final question, fourth question. Say true or false. A part. Two diameter of a circle will necessarily intersect. Okay. Uh, fourth question. Uh, let me draw it again. Fourth question. Circle. This is one diameter. This is another diameter. Okay. They are always intersecting. So the first statement is true. B. The center of a circle is always in the interior. Center is a point from which the circumference is at equal distance and it is always in the interior because if you are drawing a circle through your compass you will get to know this is the point from around which you have to go through so this is always going to be in the interior okay so this is also a true statement so that's it from this video and i hope this video will really help you all in completing your exercises like this video and share it with your friend and do not forget to subscribe ugly same school so that you can never miss any video from us I'll be back with next chapter. Till then, bye.